Plus, it was evaluated the effect of the TUBB8 mutations on the assembly of the iterodimer consisting of one A tubulin polypeptide and B tubulin polypeptide in vitro. On microtubule architecture, on microtubule dynamics in yeast cells, and an and, and spandel assembly in mouse and human all sites. Cons we identified seven mutations in the primate specific gene TUBB8 that were responsible for oocyte meiosis 1. The mutations affect chaperone dependent folding cause catastrophic spindle assembly defects and maturation arrest on expression in mouse and human oocytes. I would now like to demonstrate to you how to do oocyte vitrification, uh, making use of rapid vit oocyte and rapid warm oocyte, as well as the equipment needed for the procedure. For oocyte vitrification, you will need the oocyte vitrification kit, which consists of three solutions. The rapid eye straw and device to load the oocytes on. You will need the smart box in which the straw will be contained during the procedure and containing the liquid nitrogen as well as the ultrasonic sealer to seal the straw afterwards. Um, the straw will then be placed in a cane, which will be part of your storage device. The vitrification procedure is performed at 37 degrees Celsius and ambient atmosphere. Aliquot 1 mil of each of the vitrification solutions into a multi-well dish. It is important to maintain this 1 mil volume for each of the solutions. First of all, it may change the osmolality of the solutions if you use less than 1 mil, um, and secondly, the temperature of the solutions can be maintained much better if you use one mole. Uh, if the temperature is going to fluctuate, it will affect the permeability of the crime protectants, and that can ultimately affect the survivability of the oocytes. When you start the vitrification procedure, place your oocytes in the first solution for a minimum of five minutes. Depending on the number of oocytes you have, the procedure will take between 5 and 20 minutes. After 5 minutes in the first solution, move your oocytes into the second solution. The oocytes will remain in the second solution for between 2 and 5 minutes. What we're looking for during this step is re-expansion of the oocyte. During the second step, label your straw and then place it inside the smart box, making sure it is held in position securely by the magnets. This will give enough time for the air inside the straw to cool down. Take the rapid eye and place it inside a non-toxic surface, for instance, a round culture dish, ready for use. When the oocytes have re-expanded, make a 20 microliter droplet from the third solution and place it onto your non-toxic surface. Once the oocytes have re-expanded or have reached five minutes in the second solution, whichever comes first, move them into the 20 microliter droplet. The oocyte should remain here for a minimum of 25 seconds. Remove the metal rod from the straw in preparation for vitrification. Place the oocytes as close as possible together to each other before you pick them up in the pipette. This will avoid overloading the rapid eye with the vitrification solutions. Hold the pipette tip inside the hole and expel the oocytes, avoiding overfilling. The oocytes will be held in position by surface tension. Immediately place the rapid eye inside the pre-cooled straw and simultaneously hold your hand above to prevent the rapid eye from accidentally popping out. Once vitrification has been done, immediately seal the straw with the ultrasonic sealer. The straw can now be moved into the cane. Make sure that you keep the oocytes under the level of the liquid nitrogen when doing this. The 
contained can now be moved into your storage system. To warm the oocytes, we need the following. The rapid warm kit containing four solutions, the large forceps to hold onto the straw, a needle nose tweezer to pick the rapid eye out, the cutter to open the straw, and the smart box containing liquid nitrogen that will hold the straw in position. The warming procedure is performed at 37 degrees Celsius and ambient atmosphere. Use one milliliter of each of the warming solutions to prepare your dish. Once you've identified and located the correct patient's oocytes, place the whole cane inside the smart box inside the liquid nitrogen. Once the last step of the warming has been completed, move the oocytes into the culture dish. Rinse them a few times and leave them in the dish and continue culturing them according to laboratory protocols. Issue applied in Ecuador. In Ecuador, there's not too much genetic studies, but doctors and scientists state that an important event of all genesis is vitelogeny, in which vitelogeny protein is synthesized in the liver and carried by the bloodstream to the ovary. Within the oocyte, this protein is converted into lipobitin and phosphitin proteins that are part of yolk platelets needs for subsequent embryo nutrition. This video is about anaphase of mitosis. If we go back to this diagram that we've been using uh, the entire time, we'll see that there's the four stages of mitosis on here. We have prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So anaphase is the third stage of mitosis. What's happened already is that the chromosomes have condensed down during prophase, the nuclear membrane begins to come apart, and then the spindles begin to separate. In metaphase, the spindles actually attach to the chromosomes at the centromere, and the chromosomes have lined up in the middle. Now in anaphase, the chromosomes are going to be pulled apart to either pole of the cell. The centrioles mark the poles, and the chromosomes are being pulled in either direction. Eventually, this pole will become its own cell after cytokinesis, and the bottom pole will also become another cell. Uh, you can see in telophase how things begin to kind of elongate, we get a new nucleus on one side and a new nucleus on the other. The importance of anaphase is that they pull the chromosomes apart evenly. You can see one half of each sister chromatid goes to either pole of the cell. This means each cell is getting an exact set of the DNA. Remember, the sister chromatids are exact copies of the same chromosome. So this side is going to have the same set of DNA as the opposite side. Uh, it's very, very important that anaphase happens correctly. If it doesn't, there could be genetic mutations in the cell because it's going to have the wrong set of chromosomes. So the things to remember for this one, there's uh, really just two major things here. The first one is the idea that the chromosomes are pulled apart. And then the second one is that the chromosomes move towards opposite poles. What this ends up doing is setting up for the next stage of telophase. So even though we're talking about these phases individually, you really can't talk about anaphase and the significance of this step without mentioning some of the other phases of division. So as I said before, anaphase and metaphase are both short. There isn't too much going on, and these phases happen relatively quickly, whereas a prophase and telophase generally take more time. So we'll finish up with telophase in the next video, and that will round out mitosis for us. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in class. Conclusion. TUV8 mutations have dominant negative effects that disrupt microtubule behavior and oocyte meiotic spindle assembly and maturation, causing female infertility.
For more necessary biology and medicine videos, please make sure to subscribe, join the Forever Group. For the latest videos, please visit Facebook at Amanda Sudida. Let's talk about the cell cycle. The cell cycle um, is defined as the stages through which a cell passes from one cell division to the next. Uh, so it's the stages of which the cell grows and prepares for division. And when the cell divides, it divides into two identical cells. This is the cell cycle. To understand the cell cycle, we must remember what a cell is and what we find in the cell. So here is a cell and its membrane. A cell, the cells are living structures that essentially make up organisms like ourselves. Within a cell, we find the nucleus, which is the main base of the cell, you can say. Around the nucleus, we find the rough endoplasmic reticulum. We also have the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which I have not drawn. Um, the surrounding area outside the nucleus is known as a cytoplasm. Uh, the cytoplasm contains many cell organelles, such as the mitochondria, uh, which is the cell's powerhouse. It makes ATP. And also, there's Golgi, which I haven't drawn. Um, but the main thing to take out of this is that in the cytoplasm, we also find centrosomes. Centrosomes are important in, uh, in cell division because it actually helps in separating the cells with its microtubules. Now within the nucleus, the main base of the cell, we find our genetic material. The genetic material is DNA, right? But the DNA is packaged up to form chromosomes. So here is one chromosome. This particular chromosome is made up of two chromatids. Here is another chromosome with two chromatids. So here I drew essentially two identical cells is known as the cell cycle. The cell cycle is divided into two main phases, the interphase which prepares the cell for division, and then the M phase, where division, the, the division process actually occurs. The division process is known as mitosis. Let's look at the interface, uh, interface phase first, which prepares the cell for division. So at the beginning of interphase, we have a one daughter cell. Let's zoom into the genetic material. This cell also consists of chromatids, or we can say it has 23 pairs of chromosomes. And then this cell will enter the S phase, which goes on for about nine hours. And in the S phase, this cell will actually have DNA replication and chromosome duplication. So here, in the S, at the end of the S phase, this cell will have duplicated chromosomes as you can see by the diagram. So if we zoom into the genetic material of this cell, it would look quite different. It would still have this, sorry, cell arrest where they just uh, stick, uh, stay around. And this phase is known as the um, G0 phase, where the cell cycle um, doesn't really do it. reference.